This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next, it's Greenspun and Becker. This is the Junior Varsity Quiz Championship. Hello and welcome. The 53rd season of Varsity Quiz continues now with Junior Varsity Quiz. I'm honored to be your host, Nathan Tannenbaum. So back in February, 19 middle and junior high school teams competed in a virtual JVQ league. Back in March, 23 middle school and junior high school teams competed in a one-day tournament over at the Veterans Tribute Academy. Well, Greenspun defeated Lead Middle School to get here to the championship. Becker defeated Fest Middle School. Let's go ahead and get going here. We're going to meet our players, starting with Greenspun. There's Hector. Hi, Hector. Hello. Nice to see you here. There's Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Hi. There's Wyland. Hi, Wyland. Hi. Nice to see you here. And there's Casey. Hi. And the coach sure. for Greenspun, Jeannie Schlotter. That's our team from Greenspun. Okay, let's meet the players from Becker. We'll start with Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Hi. Nice to see you. Avery. Hi. Howdy. There's Owen. Hello. Hi, Hello. Owen. And William. Hello. And the coach for Becker, Nicole Poling. The students from Becker Middle School. All righty. Students, are you ready? Let's play Junior Varsity Quiz. What is indicated by the German tempo marking called Schnell, which is the same as the Italian Allegro? <phone rings> Greenspun, Evelyn? Quickly. Judges, can we accept that? Yes, that is points on the board for Greenspun. Next question, during what month does the long night moon occur in Honduras? <phone rings> Greenspun, Wyland? August. Incorrect? Becker, Owen? May. No, the answer December. No points. We move on to a calculation question. The moon's density is 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, while the Earth's density is 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. To the nearest tenth, how many times more dense than the moon is our planet? Repeating, the moon's density, 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, while the Earth's density is 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. To the nearest tenth, how many times more dense than the moon is our planet? No answer. We were looking for 1.7. We move on. When you shake a little salt into the flame of a candle, you see the flame turn yellow. Heating a what element in the salt causes this? That's Greenspun, Casey. Sodium. Yes. Next question. Hudson's Bay Company was initially based upon what one North American commodity from an animal of the area? That's Becker, William. Beaver. Can we accept that? Points on the board for Becker. Next question. I believe that it is as much a right and duty for women to do something with their lives as for men. This quote is by which early American author of Little Women and Little Men? Becker, Avery? Louisa May Alcott. Yes. Next question. What's the total number of the wonders of the ancient world? That's Becker, Owen. Seven. Yes. What activity are people probably involved in when they use terms like crisscross, side swing, and double dutch? Becker, Avery? Jump rope. Yes. From the Nahuatl, we get this word that originally meant bitter water as it was generally served as an unsweetened drink. Today, it ranges from sweet to semi-sweet to extra dark, less sweet, and is a favorite in dessert foods. Becker, Owen? Soda. No. Greenspun, Wyland? Chocolate. Yes, a little bit louder, you guys. We got you, but keep it a little louder. Next question. The scenic Columbia River Gorge is located between what two western states? Greenspun, Hector? Washington and Oregon. Yes. The next question. It was discovered accidentally in the 15th century by a great seaman looking for something else. When discovered, it wasn't wanted. Most of the exploration for the next 50 years was done in the hope of getting around it. So what is it? 
Greenspun, Hector. America? Yes. Next question. Jesse went to Computer World, bought a new external hard drive priced at $46. At checkout, he had to pay $48.46 to complete the sale. What's that extra $246? Back, uh, Becker, Owen? Tax. Judges? We need more information? Taxation? I don't think we can accept that. So we'll go with Greenspun. Hector? Sales tax? Yes, that's what we were looking for. Points for Greenspun on that one. We move on to a calculation question. In an election for mayor, 656 people voted. Jill Jablonski beat her only rival by the smallest majority possible. How many votes did she get? Repeating the question, in an election for mayor, 656 people voted. Jill Jablonski beat her only rival by the smallest majority possible. How many votes did she get? That's Becker Owen. 329. Yes. Next question. Many suggest that for the Olympics to survive geopolitical wars, there should be a, a permanent site. What country is often cited as the most likely choice? Becker, Brooke? France. No. Greenspun, Hector? Greece. Yes. Next question. Between New Brunswick, Quebec, New Hampshire, and the Atlantic Ocean is what U.S. state? Becker, Owen? Vermont. No. Greenspun, Wyland? Alaska. Incorrect. We were looking for Maine. Next question. In the Arabian Nights, we read of Aladdin and his lamp, Alibaba and the thieves, and the seven voyages of what sailor? Oh, you guys don't remember Sinbad? Next question. What hyphenated adjective describes the exceptionally long, curved, maxillary canine teeth of certain extinct predatory felines of the Eocene and Pleistocene epochs? Becker, Owen. Saber tooth. Yes. Next question. The word squiggle. Well, that is a blend of squirm and what other verb? Greenspun, Evelyn? Wiggle? Yes. Next question. Having occupied the presidency into an unprecedented fourth term from the Great Depression. Greenspun, Hector. Franklin Roosevelt? Yes. What field of the social sciences deals with labor, capital, resources, manufacturing, production, trade, distribution, and the consumption of goods and services? Uh, Becker, Owen? Economics? Yes. What kind of painting practiced by Tibetan monks and Native Americans of the U.S. Southwest involves the placement of small, loose, colorful grains of disintegrated rock to produce patterns and pictures? Becker, William? Murals? No. Greenspun, Wyland? Mosaic? No, it's called sand painting. No points. We move on. Pick any whole number and write it as a word. Then you count the number of letters in the word and write that number as a word. Count the number of letters in that word and write it as a word. So eventually, you're going to end up with what number? Greenspun, Evelyn? Four. Yes. Okay, what cartilaginous oceanic fish have barbs on their long, narrow tails by which they can inject venom in self-defense? Uh, Greenspun, Evelyn? Stingrays? Yes. A little bit louder, you kids. Can't hear you so well. The third symphony of this great composer was originally dedicated to Napoleon Bonaparte until he proclaimed himself emperor. The dedication was then changed by which of the three B composers? Becker, Owen? Beethoven? Yes. This small New Jersey Catholic college became the first 15-seed team to reach... Uh, that's Becker, Brooke. St. Peter's. Yeah. All right, so we've come to the end of the first round, but before we move on, we wanted to learn a little bit more about our players. So you guys did a great job. Let's start with here, uh, Greenspun. We're going to say hello to eighth grader Hector. Hi, Hector. Hello. So you wrote that you were born not in the United States. Where were you born? Greece. And when did you come to the United States? Um, 2013. Okay. How do you like it so far? Fine. Okay. Well, good luck with that, and good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Nice to have you here, Hector. Here's seventh grader Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Hi. Nice to have you here. It says here you like to do bird watching. Yeah. Where do you Where do you do that? Um, there's a the Henderson Bird Watching Park. We okay. Have you seen a spectacular bird that you remember more than any others? Nope. 
You just like looking at the bird. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck for that. Good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Uh, here is eighth grader Wylan. Hi, Wylan. Hi. Good to have you here. So you, uh, you know, we make, having an addiction is actually a very serious thing and we don't want to make light of it, but you wrote that you have a specific addiction that I think we can talk about. Do you remember what you wrote? Yes, I think What so. are you addicted to, Wylan? Uh, breathing. He's addicted to breathing. <laughs> he says, I haven't been able to stop for more than two minutes since birth. Wyland, I suggest you keep that up. Yeah. Good luck with that breathing thing, and good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, here's eighth grader Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi. Nice to have you here. It says here you like to go fishing. Yeah. Do you have a favorite fishing spot? Um, just somewhere in Minnesota. Pardon me? Somewhere in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. And is there a big fish that you've caught, or you just enjoy fishing? Um, biggest I can remember is a 30-inch fish. Wow. Pretty good. All right, Casey, well, we're glad to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our team from Greenspun. Good to have you guys here. All right, let's get to know our players from uh, Becker Middle School. We'll start with eighth grader, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Hi. Nice to have you here. Says you play soccer. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Um, since I was like two or three. Do you have a specific position that do you play or do you rotate around? Um, I usually play center back or outside back. So you're not really all the way into scoring, but you set, set plays up, is that what you do? Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck with the soccer. Good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Brooke. Here's eighth grader Avery. Hi, Avery. Hi. Says you play a sport too. Did you remember, you remember what you wrote? Um, yes, I play lacrosse. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And there, is there a lacrosse team at Becker or is this just a club sport? Um, no, I play for the Junior Lady Panthers. Okay, and is there a position that you play for them? Um, I usually play attack. Okay, go get him. Good luck with the lacrosse and good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Avery. Uh, here's eighth grader Owen. Hi, Owen. Hello. Nice to have you here. Uh, apparently, you are seriously into soccer <laughs> because you wrote something here that I can't believe. Do you remember what you wrote? Yeah. What'd you write? I can name the winner of every World Cup and I know over a thousand soccer teams. Wow, how, long, how many World Cups have there been? Uh, 21, I think. Okay. We won't ask you to get into that. No, it's okay. But enjoy your soccer fandom and good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Oh, nice to have you here. And here's eighth grader William. Hi, William. Hello. Good to have you here. I don't even understand what this means, so I'm going to ask you to explain what is a ranking of flags. Uh, I have a ranking of my opinion of what flag is better than the others. Of country's flags or city's flags? Or? It doesn't matter. If it's a flag, it's a flag. Is there one flag that's better than any other flag you've ever seen? Uh, Seychelles is... Island oh, the Seychelles? Yes. Okay. Well, good luck with the flag ranking. <laughs> and it's nice to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, our team from Becker Middle School. Yeah, All right. We're going to be right back with the bonus round. As we begin round two, the score, Greenspun 55, Becker 45, kind of a close match. Uh, for Greenspun, we have one new player. It's Credence. Hi, Credence. Hi. Welcome, good to have you here. We have two new players for Becker. There's Brenna, hi Brenna. Hi. And Kingston, hey Kingston. And, and Brendan, there we go. <laughs> I was just checking. Awesome. What city is indicated in this newspaper headline from 1945? Shell of German capital yielded to Red Army. And that is Greenspun, Hector? Berlin. Yes, bonus questions now for Greenspun. Only answer the following associated with history. First, what synonym for murder relates to these people's deaths? Archduke Ferdinand, Mahatma Gandhi, William McKinley, Abraham Lincoln, John Kennedy. Second, most catastrophic oil spills are associated with accidents involving what kind of vessels made to hold large quantities of fluid? I was going to say oil tanker. Yeah, oil tanker. Oil tanker? All right, we have our answers. Go, Captain. Assassination and oil tanker. Assassin assassination is correct, and I, I believe, can we accept? Yeah, okay, very good. So you got bonus points, and this question now for both teams. Given the velocity of a body, how can you determine how far it travels during a time interval? Uh, that's Becker, Kingston. Multiply it by its distance. Judge, I don't think that's correct. We were looking for multiply velocity by time. So no bonus points, no, no points at all. We move on to this question for both teams. How many members of the United States Senate are from states including and adjacent to Florida? Greenspun, Hector. 
Six. Yes. Bonus questions now for Greenspun. Only answer the following about government. First, while the founders were people instrumental in establishing the United States, what's the corresponding term for those who met in Philadelphia in 1787 to write the Constitution? Second, what is the collective name for bodies such as national assemblies, parliaments, councils, and congresses, a name related to their branch of government? Yeah, but the name of the people that went there. Captain? Um, our answers are Founding Fathers and uh, Convention. Uh, both are incorrect. We were looking for framers and legislatures. So no bonus points. Now this question for both teams. It is a calculation question, students. Given that both X and Y equal negative 2, what is the value of X cubed minus 1 divided by Y minus 1? I'll repeat. Given that both X and Y equal negative 2, what's the value of X cubed? We'll go with Greenspun. Wyland? Negative 1. That is incorrect. Uh, I'll finish repeating. What is the value of X cubed minus 1 divided by Y minus 1? Becker, Brenna? Negative 11. No, we were looking for 3. So no points, no bonus questions. Here we go to the next for both teams here. This work by Einhard illustrates what genre? Life of Charlemagne. Becker, Owen? Biography. Yes, sir. Now bonus questions for Becker only. Answer the following about literature. First, these books are examples of what genre? Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Oh, to Joy, A Conversation in the Art of Living Joyfully. And then your second question. What story by Hans Christian Andersen could relate to an unpromising child who develops into a successful adult? Captain. Uh, for number one, we have self-help, and for number two, we have autobiography. Self-help is correct. The second correct answer would have been the ugly duckling. So you get some bonus points, and now this question for both teams. The following list of companies were what kind of businesses? Denver and Rio Grande, Missouri Pacific, Great Northern, Southern Pacific, uh, Greenspun, Wyland? Railroad companies. Yes, bonus questions now for Greenspun only. Answer the following about history. First, the American colonists were disturbed by the British attempts to impose taxes on them to help cover the expenses of what 18th century war centered in the upper Ohio River Valley? Second, name the second United States president. Captain? Uh, we have our answers. The the first answer is the French and Indian War, and the second answer is John Adams. Both are correct. You got a bonus point. Now this question for both teams. In 1576, the Mughal Emperor Akbar conquered Bengal, which was then the richest province in what country? <coughs> Becker, Owen. India? Yes. Bonus question is now for Becker only. Answer the following regarding European history. First, in the 1940s, what country invaded Denmark, Belgium, Norway, and France? Second. This country has been militarily neutral since 1815, not becoming involved in any conflict between any countries ready to defend from any attack. Which country is this with the capital of Bern and peace summits being held at Geneva? You have 10 seconds. All right, um, we have our answers. Go ahead, Captain. Um, for number one, we have Germany, and for number two, we have Switzerland. Both are correct. You got bonus points, and we're out of time. The score, Greenspun with 90 points to Becker's 70. It's a close match. Now for Greenspun, we have a returning player, Casey's back. Hi, Casey. And we have a new player, John. Hi, John. Welcome. Uh, for Becker, we have a returning player. It's William and a new player, Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Hello. Let's get this party started. In what country did the Third Reich develop? <laughs> Greenspun, Casey. Germany. Yes. What planet is colored by wind-blown, iron-rich dust? and I didn't see who buzzed in. That was uh, Becker. Owen? Neptune? No. Greenspun, Casey? Jupiter? No, the answer, Mars. Next question. Uh, people used what to propel ancient biremes and triremes? I can't tell who's lit up. Who, who was that? That was uh, Becker, Owen? Trebuchets? Trebuchets? Incorrect. 
Uh, the answer, or is like in a rowing an oar. Next question is a calculation question. As soon as it's not repeated in this round, what is the sum of the prime numbers between 10 and 15? And that's Greenspun, John. 24. Yes, next question. In the Harry Potter stories, what kind of birds are Errol, Hedwig, is that Becker, Owen? Owls. Yes. How far are you from home if the distance in Roman numerals is D miles? Becker, Owen? 20 miles. Nope. Greenspun, John. 500 miles? Yes. Next question. What simple machine is incorporated in staples used to keep things together or in shovels to separate objects into parts? Becker, Owen? Wedges? Yes. What crime is committed in O'Henry's humorous story, The Ransom of Red Chief? Becker, Owen? Murder? No. Greenspun, Hector? Ransom? No, the answer, kidnapping. Next question. It's the only orchestral instrument with unadjustable pitch, so when a symphony orchestra tunes up before a performance, what instrument gives the pitch? Greenspun, Hector? Bass? No. Becker, Owen? Violin. Violin. Incorrect, it is the oboe. Next question. What body of water is the world's largest carbon sink? Becker, Owen? The Caspian Sea. Incorrect. Greenspun, Wyland? Lake Erie. No, it's the Pacific Ocean. Next question. In Tuck Everlasting, the antagonist is a man in a suit of what color? Becker, Owen? Blue. No. Greenspun, Wyland? Black. No, it's yellow. Next question. What fraction is exactly halfway between 7 and 19 fourteenths? Yeah, it's 117 28 but we all knew that. In what colonial city was Crispus Attucks killed by British soldiers? Becker, Owen? New Amsterdam. Amsterdam. That's incorrect. Greenspun, Casey? Boston. Yes, Boston is correct. Next question. What's missing from this saying? They killed the blank that laid the golden eggs. Becker, Owen? Hen. Incorrect. Greenspun, John? Chicken? Nope, it's a goose. Who were the first Europeans to colonize what's now New York? Greenspun, Hector? The Dutch? Yes, next question. According to the old saying, a miss is as good as a blank. It is equal to 5,280 feet. Uh, Becker, Owen? Mile? Yes, sir. Uh, who is Zero's great, great, great grandmother in the novel Holes? Madam Zeroni, next question. What's the collective name for disasters attributed to such causes as floods, hurricanes? Uh, Becker, Owen? Natural disasters. Yes, sir. What's the second full moon in a month called? Greenspun, Casey? Blue moon. Yes, sir. Who followed George VI as monarch of England? Greenspun, Wyland? George VII. Incorrect. Becker, Owen? Oh. That oh. wasn't you? Did, who buzzed in? Did somebody buzz in? Okay, William. King Henry the first. Incorrect. That uh, was Elizabeth the second. What is the title of the head of the judicial branch of government in the United States? And who was that? Uh, we'll go with Owen. Supreme Court. Incorrect. Greenspun, Hector. Chief Justice. It is Chief. Chief Justice. Yes, sir. Next question. What cloth made from the stalk of the flax plant may be bleached white? Which of you? That's uh, Becker, Kingston. Cotton? No. The answer, linen. Through what U.S. state does a latitude of 70 degrees north pass? Which of you? Owen? Alaska? Yes. Who was the first man to be both vice president and president without being elected to either? Greenspun, Hector. Gerald Ford? Yes. Though the colors are different, the four flags of Scandinavia do have which design element? Which of you? That's Becker, Owen? A cross. Yes. What stage of man's cultural development is divided into the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic periods? 
Which of you? That's Becker, will you? The prehistoric. Incorrect. The Stone Age is what we're looking for. And we're out of time, so let's find out who won. The final score, Greenspun 130, Becker 100. Congratulations to both teams, really an excellent match. We want to congratulate our champions, but first we want to award a second place plaque. Give it up for Becker Middle School and Mrs. Kristen Grimm from the Clark County School District Student Activities Department. Great job to Becker Middle School. And now to present the plaque and a check for $500 to the Junior Varsity Quiz Champions Greenspun, we have Mr. Howard Naylor from the Kiwanis Club, a $500 check and a plaque to the Captain Wyland for Greenspun, the Junior Varsity Quiz Champions for 2022. Great job. We invite you to join us next week as we conclude the 53rd season of Varsity Quiz. We hope you join us for the Junior Varsity Quiz All-Star Match. A lot of fun as superstars from the teams throughout Junior Varsity Quiz get together for fun and bragging rights. Right here on Vegas PBS. We'll see you.